Catherine. How could you do this to me? You're my sister. Why would you steal my husband? Because he loves me. He said he wanted to be with me, not you, Madison. No, no, no. That's not true. That can't be true. You're lying. You're lying to hurt me. <laughs> no, I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. And I have proof. What? Proof? What proof? If you want to know, I'd be happy to show you, my stupid sister. Well, Matthew just sent me a message. Hi, honey. I'm sorry I can't be there with you right now. I'm stuck in traffic, but I'll be there soon. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you again. P.S. Don't worry about Madison. She's nothing to me. She's just a crazy woman. I love you more than everything I have. And you are the only one that I want to marry. I want to stay with you. You're the only one for me. You're my wife and my soulmate. I love you more than anything in the world. No, no, this can't be. This can't be real. He didn't say that. He didn't mean that. He, he loves me. He loves me. Face it, Madison. It's over. He doesn't love you. He never did. But our wedding is about to take place. Everything is prepared. How can you be so selfish and cruel? Oh, please. Don't act like you're the victim here. I've known Matthew longer than you. We've been seeing each other for a long time, even before you met him. He's always loved me more than you. That's a lie! I introduced Matthew to the whole family, including you. You should have ended the relationship you shouldn't have with him then. You should have respected me as your sister and let me be happy with him. But no, you had to ruin everything for me. Ha! You're so naive and stupid. Do you really think Matthew was happy with you? He was just using you as a cover. He never loved you. He only loved me. He told me so many times. He couldn't stand being with you. You're so boring and plain. You have no personality or charm. You're not as beautiful and attractive as me, so you let your fiancé deceive you. How dare you say that? You're the one who has no personality or charm. You're just a shallow and vain person who only cares about yourself. You have no morals or loyalty. You're a terrible sister and a terrible person. I hate you. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care about you at all. You're nothing to me. You're just an obstacle in my way to happiness. And now I've removed you. Matthew and I are going to get married and live happily ever after. And you can just rot in your misery and loneliness. You won't get away with this. I won't let you ruin my life. I'll expose your lies and make everyone see what a horrible person you are. I'll make sure Matthew knows the truth about you and leaves you for good. Good luck with that. You have no proof, no witnesses, no support. No one will believe you over me. I'm the sweet and innocent sister, remember? You're the bitter and jealous one who can't accept that Matthew chose me over you. You're pathetic and delusional. No, you're the pathetic and delusional one. You think Matthew loves you, but he doesn't. He's just playing with you like he played with me. He'll cheat on you and dump you as soon as he gets bored of you. And then you'll be alone and miserable, just like you deserve. Yeah, right. Keep telling yourself that. It won't change anything. Matthew and I are happy together, and nothing you say or do will change that. So just give up and leave us alone. Never! I won't give up until I get justice for what you did to me. Fine then. Bring it on. You better keep your eyes peeled. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> you 
you should be scared because I believe that in the future, karma will catch up with you and make you pay for everything that you have done to me. Hello there. How have you been? Huh? Sorry, you are... <laughs> Can you guess who I am? Huh? Who are you and what do you want from me? I'm sure you'll be very surprised if you know who I am. Well, I'm very close to you. Come on. Try to guess. Is it my best friend, cousin, or colleague? I have no clue. Don't be so mysterious. Lol. <laughs> I'm so sad that you don't recognize me, Madison. It's Catherine, your dearest sister. It's been a long time, right? Huh? Catherine? How on earth did you get my new number? I blocked you on every platform and changed my phone. I got your number from someone who knows you. And by the way, changing your number without telling me? That's pretty rude and disrespectful, don't you think? I'm the only beloved sister you have. I love you so much and we're family. <laughs> Lol. What? Who's my beloved sister? And you love me? <laughs> so ridiculous, Catherine. You don't love me. You don't even know what love is. And you are not my sister. You're nothing to me. You're dead to me. What? Why are you saying that? That's so cruel and hurtful. How can you say that to your own sister? Cruel? Do you want to talk about cruelty? Do you remember what you did to me two years ago? You stole my fiancé from me. You betrayed me in the worst way possible. Oh, just that? Are you still mad about that? That was so long ago. You need to move on with your life. Besides, I have already apologized to you many times. Can't you just forgive and forget? It's all in the past now. It's all water under the bridge now. We should focus on the present and the future. What the heck are you thinking? Forgive and forget? Are you kidding me? You took him from me right before our wedding day. Do you have any idea how much pain you caused me? The wedding was cancelled at the last minute. It caused problems for everyone involved. And I worked at the same company as him. So everyone knew what had happened. I was humiliated and everyone was gossiping about me. I had to quit and look for a new job. There were so many things I had to deal with because of you. Really? I didn't know that. So sorry, lol. <laughs> Don't play dumb. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew I never wanted to see your face again. So I blocked you from contacting me. And I moved away, hoping that would end our relationship for good. But you still found a way to message me again. In case you didn't know, I hate you. So mean. I already said I was sorry. And you still won't let it go. It sounds like you're the one who's being mean here. Besides, it wasn't my fault. Matthew was the one who came to me first. So don't you think it's a bit unfair to blame everything on me? You were the one who seduced him from the start. You knew he was my fiancé, and you did nothing but flirt with him since the day I introduced him to everyone. Um, whatever. That's not important anymore. I didn't message you about that. I messaged you because I have some big news for you. Th that's your business. I don't care. Oh my god, I'm your sister. You should care about me. This is your responsibility. Um, well, Madison, I got married. Surprise! <laughs> Lol. We signed the marriage certificate just the other day. Oh, sounds good. Be happy until you die, Catherine. Come on, don't be so cold. You should be happy for your sister. Huh? Happy for you? Why would I be happy for you? 
You're not my sister anymore, remember? I don't care what you do with your life. That's harsh. I went through all this trouble to contact you because I wanted to invite you to our wedding ceremony. Wait, what? You said you got married a few days ago? We eloped a few days ago, but we're having a wedding ceremony anyways, so our family can celebrate with us. Okay, and I don't care. Just leave me alone. You really don't care? I know you're pretending not to care, Madison. You must think I married Matthew, right? <laughs> Lol. No, no, I'm not marrying Matthew. Fine, whatever. I dumped your old fiancé a long time ago. Wait, what? Yeah, it was fun taking him from you, but he turned out to be broke. He had no money at all, and he was useless. So I dumped him after playing with him for a while. Moreover, I had no intention of staying with him forever. My purpose was merely to enjoy myself, and once I was done, I moved on from that relationship. The person I married is a different person. Oh, is that so? Well, good. Do whatever you like. So, as I said, we are having a wedding ceremony. So I want to send you an invitation. Tell me your address. I'll send it to you. What? Are you out of your mind? And let me remind you again. We are no longer sisters. And I want nothing to do with you ever again. Do you not know what that means? Why would you say that to me? Why are you being so stubborn? Oh, I get it. You're just jealous of me. What? I'm jealous of you? Are you serious? Yeah. Just because your little sister is getting married before you, you're jealous. Too bad for you. Your fiancé dumped you and ran away for a younger woman. And even more ironic when that person is your sister. And then I didn't even keep him. So it turns out, he could have been yours after all. I'm sorry. <laughs> How could you be so naive, Catherine? I hate you, but I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous of your fake happiness with a man who betrayed me. I realized what kind of man Matthew really was. He was a selfish, dishonest, and unfaithful man. I don't want to marry any man that would leave me for you. I don't want to waste my life with someone who doesn't love me or respect me. I should be grateful you showed me what a jerk he was. I should thank you for saving me from a terrible mistake. That sounds exactly like what a loser would say. You're just trying to make yourself feel better by pretending you don't care. Anyway, I hope you're looking forward to my wedding ceremony. It's going to be the most beautiful and romantic event ever. Maybe I'll introduce you to a good man when you come so you won't have to be alone forever. You know, someone who will actually love you and not cheat on you with your sister. <laughs> Lol. No thanks. I'm not going. Don't say that. Just come. I have a big surprise waiting for you at the wedding. You'll be so surprised and shocked when you see it. It's something you never expected. Make sure you're there. You won't want to miss this amazing surprise that will change your life forever. Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't come. Hey, did you receive my message? Hey, Madison! Madison, take up your phone now. Why haven't you replied to my wedding invitation yet? I know you received it in the mail. Mom and Dad are also ignoring me. Why are they doing that? Why are they acting like I don't exist? What do you mean, why? It's obvious. Mom and Dad cut off contact with you too. After what you did to me with Matthew. But I am their daughter. How can they heartlessly not care about me? And why did you send the invitation to my office? I didn't even bother to open it. I just threw it in the paper shredder as soon as I saw your name on it. What? Why would you do that? I spent a lot of time writing it out for you. I even added a personal note for you telling you how much I miss you and how much I want you to be there on my special day. Stop being so persistent with this. Grow up. I don't want anything to do with you ever again. You're not my sister anymore. You're nothing to me. 
Are you sure about that? Because I'm sure you're going to be the one contacting me pretty soon. What do you mean? Why would I be contacting you soon? I told you already because I have a surprise for you. A big surprise that will blow your mind. <laughs> I'll give you a little spoiler. Christopher. Huh? What? How would you know that person's name? Well, I heard that Christopher is your new fiancé, isn't he? You're going to be married soon. Oh, I can't wait for the wedding to give you a surprise. I'll just tell you now. I'm sorry. I guess it looks like I took your fiancé again. Surprise! <laughs> Come on. What the heck are you talking about? Oh, Madison. You're so stupid. You still don't get it? Okay, let me tell you. You were dumped by your fiancé again. <laughs> Have you heard from Christopher recently? No, I haven't. And I haven't contacted him either. Why do you mention about Christopher? What? Can you guess who I'm with right now? Who? Well, I'm with your fiancé. Surprise! <laughs> I can't believe it took you this long to figure it out. You're so stupid. The person who is stupid here is you. Actually, today is my wedding day. And my fiancé is here with me. At the chapel hall. Huh? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. Today is my wedding day. I'm getting married today. My fiancé, I mean, my husband, is here with me right now. The wedding has already taken place. We're married, and the reception is set to begin soon. What? Today was your wedding day? No way. That's not possible. I can't believe it. You're lying. Christopher told me you were his fiancé. Christopher is with me right now. I don't know where you got your information, but you've got it all wrong. Christopher was never my fiancé. Huh? What? The person I was engaged to and now married to is George. He's my colleague. He's handsome and knowledgeable. He's kind, helping me get through the worst days of my life. No, you're lying. What you say now is a lie. You're just saying that because you're so angry I took your fiancé again. That's why you're making up this story. Just to make yourself feel better. Is this right, huh? Believe it or not, it's up to you. But the guy was never my fiancé. We never even dated. What? No way! Christopher said he was your fiancé. He told me so. He even gave me your contact details and he seemed to know a lot about your personal life. It's quite odd if he's not your boyfriend or lover. Well... Actually, Catherine, I know Christopher. But do you know how I know him? How? That creep used to stalk me. He's a stalker. What? A stalker? About a year ago, some co-workers and I went out for drinks. One of my colleagues invited him to join us. He seemed like a nice guy. When I was a little drunk, he asked me to be friends and I gave him my phone number. That was it. But then, he surprised me by becoming super clingy and super creepy. Even though we never dated, he started telling everyone that I was his girlfriend and he kept calling me. Even calling me at work to ask me out. I rejected him every time because it was creepy. Things got worse after that. He found out my address and often came to my house to harass me. He even went crazy enough to rent a house across from me. But he was one of our good clients, so I didn't want to report him to the police. Huh? What? Wh what are you saying? The person who put an end to all that was my boyfriend at the time, who is now my husband, George. It's unbelievable that after all this time, Christopher is still telling people I'm his fiancé. Wait, hold on. What does that mean exactly? Basically, he's been going around telling everyone that I'm his fiancé, but it's all a lie. We've never had any relationship, and he's just a creepy stalker. A creepy, disgusting woman stalker. So, the fact that you didn't steal my fiancé... <laughs> 
What? Is that even possible? This is awful! I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. I just wanted to see your surprise expression again, nothing more. That's the whole reason you tried to steal my fiancé again? Yeah, of course. Because I hate you. I enjoyed seeing your reaction when I took Matthew away from you. It was a mean thing to do and I regret it. You're a terrible person, you know that? Just the fact that we're related makes me sick. Oh, come on. Christopher has a better job than yours. I'm happy I married him. Seriously? Christopher is unemployed. What? No! He works for one of your client companies, right? No, that's not true. He's not just creepy, he's delusional and a pathological liar. After he came to my house, George scared him off, so I didn't call the police back then. But he returned recently and things escalated quickly. He showed up at my office without an appointment. And when the receptionist wouldn't let him in, he became enraged and caused havoc. Although our office requires an ID card to access certain areas, he still managed to cause extensive damage at the reception desk. Security intervened, but he assaulted the guards and got arrested when the police arrived. His company fired him after learning about the incident. I can't fathom why he resurfaced after leaving me alone for so long. But it might be because he met you and you asked him a lot of questions about me, which might have triggered something. I'm pretty sure he's still unemployed. Given his lack of references and criminal record, finding a job won't be easy. What? That's impossible! Well, it's what happened. I can't be certain, but I doubt he's found new employment. He probably lied to you to get you to marry him. Trust me, he's not someone you want to be around. What am I supposed to do now? We're already married, and we've planned a wedding ceremony. I can't back out now. I lose all the deposits. That's unfortunate, but it's not my problem. You married an unemployed stalker with a violent criminal record. I don't know how he'll behave now that you're married to him. Good luck dealing with that. Please, can you help me? You're my sister. You can't leave me like this. No way. You're not my sister anymore. You lost that right when you betrayed me with Matthew. This is your mess. You deal with it yourself. Besides, my wedding reception is about to start. And I want to celebrate with the people I love. Goodbye and good riddance. No, please no. Don't treat people like that. Please. When you ruined my happiness, did you think for me? You know how much I struggled to get out of the darkest days of my life when my fiancé betrayed me to marry my sister? It's all your fault. Be because I hate you. Because you always get good things. Parents always care about you, but not me. Her achievements in school or work are better than me. Why is it always you? It's because of you! Stop making excuses! You reap what you sow. Don't make excuses for your mistakes. No, it's not fair. It's not fair that you have everything and I have nothing. It's not fair that you're happy and I'm miserable. It's not fair that you're married and I'm alone. Life is not fair, Catherine. You can't just take what you want from others. You have to work hard and earn it. You have to respect and love others. You have to be a good person. Let me tell you what happened after my wedding. It was an incredible day with all my loved ones, friends, and family present. My heart was filled with joy, knowing I have my husband, George, and my family to rely on whenever I need support. I felt truly happy. After the wedding, Catherine confronted Roger about his actions. Turns out, he not only lost his job, but also had to bear the financial burden of the damages he caused to our company's building. It seems he had a history of troubles and debts that now became Catherine's responsibility too. She's trying to divorce him, but it's not going smoothly. I can't help but feel sorry for her situation, but we cut ties with her a long time ago due to her unexplained animosity toward me. She's been reaching out to me, my parents, and anyone she can for help, but we can't get involved. Marrying someone like Roger was a huge mistake on her part, and we're keeping our distance. 
It's sad to see her in this situation, but we can't forget her past actions and the pain she caused. Despite all of this drama, I'm focused on my own happiness with George. The wedding was a dream come true, and I'm looking forward to our future together. We're surrounded by love and support, and that's all that matters. As for Catherine, she's made her own choices, and she'll have to deal with the consequences.